It is your turn. It is your no. Go. It was like the Rebels just seemed to run out of steam at the end. Hugh Freeze put together a few Whopper recruiting classes to build the program up into the big time, but injuries, horrible luck, and lots and lots of interceptions just turned out to be the undoing last season. This year, here's the deal with the 2015 Ole Miss Rebels. How many seniors were there on the final offensive two deep? Just two, quarterback Bo Wallace and a backup tight end. But even with all the experience, the season's gonna depend on the health of a few key players, with star wide receiver Laquan Treadwell trying to come back from his horrific leg injury, and with offensive tackle Laramie Tunsil getting into the bowl game with a leg problem of his own. But he's supposed to be back, and all five starters return on the offensive line, but the quarterback situation has to be settled if it's not Chad Kelly taking it over. Defensively, the secondary loses some stars, and the linebacking core has to undergo an overhaul, but Robert Kimdiche and the line is going to be fantastic. So how was, good was that D last season? Ole Miss finished number one in the nation in scoring defense, allowing just 16 points per game, even though it was lit up by TCU in the 42-13 bowl loss. With Alabama coming up first on the SEC schedule, the run defense has to be ready to rock right away. All right, so was last year an aberration? Nah, hardly. But with road games at Alabama, Florida, Auburn, and Mississippi State, it's going to be really, really tough to come up with a big improvement. The non-conference slate is a breeze, but getting to nine wins again is going to be a big fight. This is still a terrific team, but it's going to be more like a seven-win squad this year. I'm Pete Futek. To dive deeper into the 2015 Rebels, check in the written preview on Campus Insiders. <laughs>